Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy Brentley, and I am playing some Black Ops 3 this time. And before you all start, yes, I know I suck at this game, so don't give me any shit. It was late last night, and uh, I was drinking, and uh, well, anyway, I got this for you because I haven't done a video this week, so I figured I would. Um, let's see what's going on nowadays. Well, it's cold as balls in my neck of the woods uh, we've got a couple inches of snow on the ground and all in all uh you know i'm kind of getting sick of winter but hey winter won't last forever it's, i think there's like 70 days till opening day at royals or kaufman stadium where the Ro world series champions can't say royals play uh spring train starts pretty soon so spring is coming i've started uh, on my garden plants, I have uh, several basil spout, sprouts, tomatoes, cherry tomatoes, bell peppers. Um, you know, I start everything from a seed, and then when it warms up in the spring, I will plant it in my garden. And uh, I enjoy it. It's uh, an addiction, but I think it's a healthy addiction. Um, I have not heard anything from the butterfly princess other than she is... Uh, covering her tracks pretty well uh she deleted a bunch of comments from her instagram but not before everyone saw them uh, i guess she's dating some cop in uh kansas city area who just got divorced from what my cop friends tell me and uh, it won't last long because cops are very good at smelling bullshit and trust me this person is a pathological liar and uh, you're probably picking it up. That's my Margie, Margie girl shaking. Anyway, um, but I wish her the best. But I really, um, you know, she just got to quit lying to people and using people. But anyway, enough about that skank. Um, what else is going on? Oh, fucking election years. I fucking hate election years. And it's not because I don't like our dem democracy and the you know progress but what i hate is how much bullshit is out there uh people are posting news stories from 10 years ago people you know oh my god fox news said it must be right no people fucking read read a newspaper you know i'm so sick of some of my redneck friends most of them are in the south not saying but they think like oh my god they're taking away our guns oh my god First of all, there's so many goddamn guns out there. There's no way they're going to take away your guns. Second of all, every freaking time the election comes, oh, they're going to take away our guns, and they never do. Oh, they're going to tax our bullets, and they never do. So, rednecks, you love your guns? I get it. I have nothing against guns. I just have something against gun violence. And everyone's like, well, you should, we, good guys with guns save people. No, that doesn't happen. I'm more afraid of a crazy white redneck with the gun than I am of any Muslim, to be honest with you. Because Muslims don't, you know, you know, I, anyway, I don't want, anyway, enough of that rant. I'm just sick of my fucking redneck friends, think they know everything about everything. Hey, you know, these guys barely got out of high school, and now they're fucking political science scholars, which is bullshit. Um, what was going on? Uh, well, as you all know, uh, a couple weeks ago, I uh, put Ziggy down. Uh, it was a rough... Uh, time for me but i didn't really have a choice because um you know he couldn't get around and he was old and there was really nothing that the vets could do for him so uh we had to put him down uh, he's buried up at the farm and no it's a real farm we have our private pet cemetery so that's kind of nice um uh leo my puppy who will be four weeks on sunday uh, is doing great. He's the biggest little litter. I've been told he weighs almost six pounds already. So he's going to be a big son of a bitch when I get him. Uh, a good friend of mine, Carrie, who I have known all my life, uh, bought his brother. So when I go down to uh, South Missouri to go get him later, uh, probably be about this time next month, um, he will, uh, you know, we'll have, I'll have someone to ride with me. It won't be so lonely. Because it's, uh, I think, four and a half, five hours away, give or take. Uh, other than that, not much to report. Uh, like I said, I am no good at this game. I don't care how many kills I get. I don't give a shit uh, what my kill-death ratio is. It's a fucking game. Games are meant to have be fun, and I was having fun. 
So before you start flaming me like, oh my god, it's still a fucking game. It's a video game. Don't take it so seriously, everyone. Um, another thing I want to talk about is uh, I cannot believe this shit. Saturday Night Live. Um, okay, I know a lot of y'all out there. I don't know if y'all caught it. Uh, yes, or last week. But they had some guy that's in the new Star Wars movie. And they were basically making fun about how grown men in their late 40s are still collecting toys. You know, and how Star Wars geeks are, like, by far the most ravenous fans out there. Um, personally, Star Wars, it's okay, but it's not my cup of tea. And that is because, you know, um, I have a... I don't know. I just never got into the Star Wars thing. I, uh, you know, it's okay movie, but I'm not really into it. I'm more into dramas, to be honest with you. Uh, but, you know, I know a lot of you out there, and a lot of my friends are really into Star Wars, and, uh, Jesus Christ, I've always wondered who would be a better, who would be in a, who would win a cage fight? Star Trek geeks, Star Wars geeks, Lord of the Rings geeks, or comic book geeks. I've always wondered. Anyway, down in the comments below, you tell me uh, which sector of geeks you think would win in a cage fight and let me know. So I've always kind of wondered that. Anyway, um, what else is going on in the world? Oh, news, news. Just reading the news as I'm recording this. Oh, Sarah Palin endorses Trump's. Don't even get me started about Sarah Palin. I know a lot of you out there like her she's a freaking moron her son just got arrested for beating the shit out of some guy with the gun uh you know she's the family values back when she was running for well she was john mccain's running mate she wasn't running for shit but uh she was the family values and her 16 year old daughter was knocked up by some redneck mullet wearing hockey player so uh you know that's just my point all politicians, I don't care, Republican, Democrat, whatever, they're all fucking hypocrites. Don't take these guys so seriously because there are three branches of government. Judicial, legislative, and executive. And until Congress gets their head out of their ass and actually does something, I don't give a shit who you put in office. Ain't nothing going to change. So, um, you know, it's election years. I fucking hate them because of all the bullshit in the... In the misinformation and just the regular everyday you know it's just stupid it takes up so much time and so much money in this country i really think we could be doing better things with our time and money but no nope, the powers that be says oh we must do this i never liked it but oh well, i will vote so i can bitch but i have no idea who i'm voting for because honestly i don't like any of these cocksuckers running none of them on both sides i think they're all fucking stupid Anyway, so that's enough politics. I know you guys don't, a lot of you guys out there that listen to me don't vote, so, you know, don't bitch. That's all, the, that's what I'll tell you. Anyway, see, this is another thing, reason I hate this game is I lose every gunfight. The net code is just horrible on Call of Duty games. You know, you, you know, I, I wish they would go to dedicated servers like the Battlefield games, but. I, you know, I've bitched about this for years, but I don't know if I'll even buy the new Call of Duty when it comes out. And, uh, let's see, usually they come out, I think, late October or early November, somewhere in there. I doubt I'll even buy it because it'll probably just be some warmed-over bullshit like Modern Warfare 5 or Advanced Warfare 2 or some shit like that. Uh, Battlefield 5 is coming out. Now, that game I will buy. Because I enjoy the Battlefield games. To me, they're a lot better games. They're a lot more fun. They're a lot, sta a lot more stable. And best of all is they have dedicated servers. So there is like no lag. But I just don't understand this game. How come they just can't fix the lag? You know, I've got 100 megs down and 10 megs up. So I shouldn't have a problem. But there's oh, every Call of Duty I've ever played has had lag up the ass. And I'm just kind of sick of it, and I think I just killed myself here. Nope, nope, yep, yeah, I killed myself. Yeah, like I said, I'm not very good at this game. I don't really particularly enjoy it. I just play it because all my friends play it, and that's about it. But anyway, I don't even know how I did in this game. I don't really give a shit. I know our team lost barely. 
I had a decent game for me because I, you know, I don't play this game very often. I think I'm just level 16. Um, I did get a couple War Machine kills. Uh, but, hey, whatever. I don't care. You know, I'm just doing it to have fun. But anyway, that's really all I got for you this week. Um, I will maybe get you some uh, Far Cry 3 footage for next week. Uh, I'm not going to buy Far Cry Primal. It just looks kind of stupid to me because, uh, you know, sticks and stones. And I haven't finished Far Cry 3 yet. So, anyway, maybe I'll do that for you t tomorrow or next week. Anyway, have a good one. And uh, tell your buddies to go ahead and sub to my channel. Thanks. Bye.